Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Kekeko. Uh, it's been a while because we have been in lockdown but now fortunately the outdoor sports is allowed and weather has also started getting better so you will be seeing me more often. Uh, today we will be talking about uh, batting warm-up. So it's pre-batting warm-up. So you're just about to go and bat and before that you want to give yourself the best opportunity so when you go out there your feet are moving your hands are moving quick, uh, your head is in better position, and you feel comfortable. Look, batting is a very risky business. You can go and get out on first ball. Anyone can get out or get out early. But we always try to give ourselves the best chance. And the best way to give ourselves best chance is to prepare well. So what we're going to do today, I will show you what I normally do before I go out to bat, how, what kind of ball I hit, uh, where I want them to feed me a few balls, all sort of things we'll see today. And I hope it will help you going forward when you are about to go to bed. So as I said, it's, it's worked different for the different players. But what I normally do, I start with some underarm off volleys to start with, and then I go on different lengths. And this is just to see if I'm hitting the ball early or late. So slower it is, better it is because it makes you wait for the ball. Once I've done that, and look, I'm doing this without pads and helmets, but you guys, you do it with helmets on or with protective gears. It all depends where you are at your cricket. But I rather do it without any protection, so I watch the ball further hard. So it's all about watching the ball before you go and back. Now after do that, then I go over arm on good length, and that's about defending the ball or leaving the ball. Once I've done that a little bit, then I go a bit back back of length. So I go for the short ball where I could punch it or I could drive it and that's also to make my feet move. So a little bit of back foot stuff. So I started this slower, then pacing it up. Now what I'm going to do now, this is for footwork. So I'm going to have some, I'm going to have some bubble drop in front of me, a little bit further away from me, and then I have to go and reach for the ball and drive. So that's working against spinners and also working on my feet moving forward.
last what I want to finish on, I asked my feeder to just throw the ball towards me, target my chest area, face anywhere. It's just hand-eye coordination and I have to naturally react with it. Once I've done that, I feel comfortable to go and bat. Oh, that's fine, that's fine. Just hand-eye that's fine. If I'm watching the ball, I shouldn't get hit. I sometimes I also do some Yorkers if you're playing T20 games. But uh, look, do whatever helps you to be the best when you walk in on the pitch to bat. Because one ball can bring you in or out of the game. So it's really important that you are at your best when you're walking on the pitch. So do whatever helps you. That's what helps me. I also feel that I'm watching the ball a little bit more better. I also feel that my feet are moving better. I also feel that my hands are getting a bit quicker reacting towards the ball. So all these little things help. So I hope it was helpful and I'll see you very soon in my next video.